ကျွန်တော်တို့ဘာမလဲတဲ့ကြားနေလာပြီးတော့တက်ရောက်ပြီးတော့ကျွန်တော်တို့ကြီးမြင့်ပေးတဲ့ပါဝင်ပေးတ
Okay, bah, jenaru di dunia yang dalam ini yang lihat jual apa melayu, bah macam ni sejak di ne selebriti, kalau ini orang ni ne pandai di cerita ni jangan melayu yang cipar le, alam le, ni je buat le, kau asai tak mungkin ne, dalam ini sih sih, naik muda, buat apa buat beja bah, alam ni dah yang kau mahu kena, aku season ni lah, jenaru asyik, kau selebriti dia, dia ubah bola dia mah, sekarang dia jangan beri muka cipar le. Now we're gonna welcome our first speaker, Bubola Tin. He's NUG's ambassador to Asia. Please welcome. Thank you. My fellow Burmese American, Rohingya brothers and sisters, international friends of Burma, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to be here with you today, and thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak about the. History of our spring revolution for one year. It has been one year that national unity government as a government by the people of the people for the people has been trying its best to restore, to end the military dictatorship and restore freedom, justice, ethnic equality and democracy in Burma with your strong support from all respect. We can say it is one year of the Burmese people showing their determination and time military dictatorship and pro federal democracy, federal democracy in Burma. Within the one year, domestically the NCG, NUG have able to fail. Very strong nation has solidarity with majority of ethnic nationalities and working together with all key stakeholders of the Spring Revolution, such as Generation XYZ, CDM, Ethnic Revolutionary Organization, General Strike Committees, women, youth, including Rohingyas. Significantly, the NUG able to establish the People Defense Forces to protect people from crime against humanity and genocide of war crime committed and continued by the illegal military hunter. The PDF along with all aligned ethnic resistant movement and local PDFs has been bravely resisting against all who and lethal military offenses targeting civilian population across the nation. From this gathering, I would like to respectfully salute all falling unsung heroes and multi-ethnic freedom fighters in the spring revolution of Burma. At this one year anniversary of the NUG, I would like to mention our deep appreciation to the United States government and the congressional bipartisan support, leadership, for the following measures and considerations. Announcing the determination of the United States that unspeakable war crimes committed by the military forces during the 2016 and 2017 in Northern Arkham State against the Rohingya people as a genocide. is all strong and concrete targeted diplomatic, political, economic and financial extension imposed against the illegal military hunter. All humanitarian and human rights related assistance supporting to Rohingyas as well as other victims and institutions in Burma. Mentioning Burma issue and clear standpoint of the United States in the National Defense Authorization Act of the United States. Strongly taking a role within the United Nations Asia Pacific and ASEAN to find the best way and means to resolve the crisis in Myanmar. Taking very strong leadership role in the NATO and providing all kinds of assistance including sophisticated weapons in support of Ukraine government and the people bravely fighting back against the unprovoked invasion of Russian authoritarian regime led by Vladimir Putin. We believe that the U.S. will continue in leading role, leading role until the Ukraine get back its territory integrity and sovereignty. We honor and deeply appreciate that. At the same time, 
We all know that the fact that illegal military hunter is in support of Russia and China. We certainly invited the hunter appointed so-called foreign minister and promised to give 600 billion yuan showing all in support of illegal military regimes in Burma. Under this moment of autocracy versus democracy following Russia invasion in Ukraine. Under all these circumstances, we want the U.S. Senate to pass the Burma Act of 2001 as fast as possible, at the same time as a champion of democracy of the global democracy champion of the world, to have a closer cooperation with the national unity government and all other key stakeholders within the spring revolution of Myanmar and continue U.S. strong leadership grow until the military dictatorship is end and democratic federal union is well established in accordance with the will of the Burmese people. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much, Asian Ambassador Oppolata, for your strong speech. Cool. Next, we would like to invite the New York team to lead us in the slogans. New York team, please lead us in the slogans. Please welcome. Okay, cool team. Then we will take the boy I can't name as a legend. The New York guy, DT, Nabiro. We want to take the New York leaders when they see by the New York leaders when they say the slogan. Then we will see them see by the camera. So English will be sound now. Okay. Hello, send me the video. What do we want? Democracy. Democracy. What do we want? Democracy. Democracy. What do we want? Democracy. Democracy. When do we want it? Right now. Right now. When do we want it? Right now. Right now. When do we want it? Right now. Right now. Release Paul Sasuji. Right now. Right now. Release Paul Sasuji. Right now. Right now. Release Paul Sasuji.
We please welcome Amy Lynn from Virginia, who will be a representative of a youth group. Generation Z. forcing thousands of people internally displaced. February 27, 2022, 85 children and 10 teachers were held hostage by Myanmar military for 48 hours. Some of, the, some of the children were under the age of 12 and some even under the age of 5. December 24th, 2021, Christmas Eve, the Myanmar military burned down an entire village in Kiyos State and with it, over 30 people, men, women, and children, were all burned alive. October 29, 2021, Myanmar military set fire to a town in Chin State, leaving 10,000 people homeless and forced to flee. The list of atrocities have gone on and unnoticed. Today, we're supposed to be celebrating Finja, 
our Burmese New Year, but instead we're here in front of the White House with heavy hearts. We've been trying to warn the world that the crimes happening in Myanmar can't be left alone. Russia and China have publicly supported the coup since the beginning and supplied many of the weapons and aircrafts that are being used against Burmese civilians. And now we're at a domino effect because what's happening in Ukraine has been happening in Myanmar for over a year. The biggest difference is that no country has offered any aid to Myanmar in the midst of mourning loss. We have created a government, the National Unity Government, or NUG. We've created a new army, the PDF, or the People's Defense Force, and we have fully funded it on our own. The people standing in front of me have fully supported NUG and PDF. But we need everyone's help. We need international support. We need international community to recognize NUG as Myanmar's leading government. Here in America, there's a bill called the Burma Act that just passed the House of Representatives. And I hope every person listening contacts their senator to support the bill, especially if you're in Kentucky and Indiana. What's happening in Myanmar is what's happening in Ukraine. And if we don't stop it now, it'll keep happening everywhere else. So I hope that you'll take one of our flyers or come ask us questions because we'd love to talk about it. Thank you. ดีมีรอยตาวงโกตาวงเจลุยาตะยอกแท้ปูปิรมาตาวงเจซอทันซอเฮเนดายแกนตั่วโกตะปัดแลนเนปิรมาปูบ้านบ่าวเปียวตะ
and I am so grateful to the distinguished minister and the organizers. I thank organizer for inviting me and the opportunity to speak in this important occasion. I see people of different nationalities and countries gathered here. And I can see countries of all Myanmar minorities here. Why did these people gather here today? Why you are, we are here today? Why are you here today? They want justice, accountability, stability, peace and security, and restoration of democracy in Myanmar. Today we celebrate the first anniversary of the National Unity Government of Myanmar, which we call NUG. N -U -G. What is NUG and why was it for? Myanmar held general election on November 8, 2020. The National League for Democracy, led by Naval Laureate of Sai Suchi, won the election with the 82 percent of seats. Elected members are gathered in Nebido, the capital city of Myanmar, waiting the storm in the early morning. Unfortunately, in the midnight, General Mi Aulai took over the government and overthrew the democratically elected government. This was a classic example of neglection, disregard from the nation. It arrested elected members, including Aung San Suu Kyi and President Uwe Ming, and right-wing journalists and activists. The endless cycle of repression and barbarism began and continues with more than 1,500 innocent people, including women and children, have been killed. Thousands in prison and hundreds, hundreds are missing and tens of thousands are displaced. I was a candidate for the National Assembly. I belong to the Rohingya community I was born in Sikwe, the Kanye State. The Tamado has systematically abolished our rights, including citizen and voting rights. I was a victim of this system and was disqualified from the election. I was disqualified twice, in 2015 and 2020. I was not alone. All the Rohingya candidates have been disqualified. This is a widespread example of discrimination and marginalization. The Myanmar army carried out a brutal operation against the Rohingya community in 2016 and 2017, in which 10 of thousand Rohingya, including women and children, and the elderly were killed. People were brought alive. More than 400,000 villages were brought to ashes. And more than 10,000 of our women we are indiscriminately raped. More than a million people forced to flee to the neighboring countries. The military use of force against the Rohingya amounted to genocide. The junta repeated this same practice after the current military coup. Burn villages and burn the people alive. It has become the norm. No justice and no protection. People live in fear. Today we are here to seek justice and accountability. I come here to raise my voice for the justice. Myanmar military committed genocide against the Rohingya community. And a crime against humanity, including war crimes against other minorities like Kachin, Kering, Mo, Rakai, and other minorities. While religious intolerance, spirit, people of all faith are worried. The United Nations, United States recently disengaged a genocide against the Myanmar military for the crime is committed against the Myanmar state 
including the Rohingya and other minorities. We welcome the decision and are deeply grateful to the United States. We are ready to see similar resolution from the United Nations, especially from the International Court of Justice. We want justice. We want the Burmese army to be held accountable for its crime. The government of national unity, the national unity government of Myanmar represent the people of Myanmar. We want the international community to recognize the NUG. International community, including the United States and the United Nations and other member states, to stand with the government, to stand with the NUG and help change the situation in Myanmar. There is almost no government in Myanmar. 54 million people are under military repression. They live in fear. Country's economy and financial system are collapsing. Internet and electricity are limited. We cannot let them make things worse. That's why today I am calling to the Biden administration to take immediate action to stop ongoing genocide and immediately stop the ongoing genocide in Myanmar, war crimes and crimes against humanity. On this occasion, I humbly urge UN member states, including members of the United Nations Security Council, particularly China and Russia, to reach a unanimous resolution calling for an end to the core and the genuine democracy in Myanmar. Furthermore, we the Rohingya people has been facing oppression, backwardness and discrimination under the military rule since the last six decades. And the fact that we are one of the indigenous ethnic minorities in Myanmar who gained all rights before the first military coup in 1962. It must stop now. I humbly ask the UNUG and the CRPH to treat the Rohingya with the equality and bring them together in the democratic process. We Rohingya are ready to cooperate and work together. Thank you very much. Okay, cool of your Rowing Town Foundation. Was a Sakabi of it or a Sia or two veggies with the mark. Go general season, yeah. Do it this start the chain or allo, then the anti so jam up your bark. Next song will be sing with Yee Ji Bi and Tu Kisa. Revolutionary song for the.
We would like to welcome Gu Lin Nai, who is a representative of the Shan ethnic. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for having me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and speak in English and start with this quote. Um, then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future, old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise, and they never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now, let us fight to fill that promise. Today we are celebrating the one year anniversary of the National Union Government of Burma. But 60 years ago, during the first military coup, my great grandfather, along with other rulers of the Shan state, were thrown into jail, along with many others. Yet, we look at Burma today, and for the last year, and we cannot tell if it's 1962, 1988, or 2017. The military continues to hold its grip of power using violence and torture to instill fear to its own people, commu committing crimes against humanity on its own people. They perpetuate their ways to divide and conquer and to separate the many different peoples of the land. There are no other countries on earth which are so diverse in culture, in religion and language as in this place we stand today and in this place we call our homeland. The promise of a democratic Burma was finally being fulfilled during the last decade, but not without mistakes and missteps. Today we take time to recognize that Burma is a symbol of positive influence and collaboration of the international community in supporting a budding experiment in democracy in a crucial part of the world. Dictatorship and tyranny and oppression cannot be a form of government. Declaring the national union of government is a simple and symbolic step that can demonstrate the leadership and influence of the United States during this global crisis. Many years ago, when Do Aung San Suu Kyi visited her people abroad, I stated that Burma's greatest resource is its people of Burma living abroad. And during this last year, I have seen the truth of that statement. A whole new generation of Burma, Chin, Karani, Kachin, Shan, and Rohingya, as well as others living abroad, understand the importance of democracy, equality, equity, and most importantly, acceptance and tolerance. They have rallied. They have advocated to their own governments to declare NUG the rightful government of Myanmar. Generation Z and others of the Burmese diaspora have been working to advocate for humanitarian aid and sanctions that could cripple the military. The only viable future for Burma is one that leaves Burma 
leaves behind the ways of past beliefs and, and long-held divisions, accepts all who call Burma their home. Here in the U.S., I implore my fellow people and constituents to call and email their senators to demand their support of the Burma Act. We put trust in Senator McConnell's support of Burma. We encourage the Senate to follow the steps of the House of Representatives to pass the Burma Act with bipartisan support. We will demonstrate, this will demonstrate the importance of supporting a developing democracy that is most needed in Southeast Asia, Return, returning it on its course to a federal democracy and towards a more benevolent and brighter future for Burma. Jesus Diamante, thank you. Jesus Diamante, my friend. Good day, Dr. Sen, 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 အဲ့တော့ကျွန်တော်တို့ခုနှစ်နာရီလည်းခွဲတော့ပြီဆိုတော့နဂိုစီစဉ်ထားတယ်အာကျွန်တော်တို့ချိန်ဇီယားတို
understand, Mikey. Oh, shut up, you silly woman, said the reptile with a grin. You knew damn well I was the snake before you took me in. If I could stand in the middle of the head and shoot somebody, and I wouldn't lose that vote, okay? You know what I hate? The president looking at all these kids. Now, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, Obama.
Majestic Democracy! Free will, Majestic Democracy! Then the Baba must be free! Democracy is coming today! Today, the surface is going to win! Democracy is coming today! Democracy is coming today! Today, the surface is going to win! Got 
Mama!
They do not discriminate who they kill. We would like our international community and our allies to recognize the National Unity Government of Burma.
people of Myanmar in desperate need. Please and support! Need help from our international Please community support! To take strong, Please support! Effective action! Please support! Please support! The country Please support. in the world must end their relationship with the military. The military must be faced with the consequences and be held accountable for human rights violations committed under May Outline's watch. Please speak up. Please speak up and use your freedom. Please speak up against other companies, international corporations that are continuing to work with the military in Myanmar. All they are doing is supplying weapons to kill our innocent people. Since the coup, over 440,000 people have been internally displaced due to military hunting them down, burning down their homes, air striking on villages, Volunteers of all ages come together to support the people's defense force to protect the civilians. Stop killing us our people! Right now! Right now! Stop killing us our people! Right now! Please support Baba Ed! Please support Baba Ed! Please support Baba Ed! Please support Baba Ed! Please support Baba Ed!
Thank you, DCPD. Thank you for protecting us. ไอ้ครับเลยไม่ได้เนาะไม่ได้เนาะแก่ๆเปลี่ยนยะเปลี่ยนยะดีบ่ดีบ่มาดีบ่มาดาดาดีบ่มาดีบ่ดาดาดิ
ไปตัวอย่างเนี่ยไปตัวอย่างเนี่ยไปตัวอย่างเนี่ยไปตัวอย่างเนี่ยไปตัวอย่างเนี่ยไปตัวอย่างเนี่ยไปตัวอย่าง
General Washington DC got Capitol Hill ba Congress ba General Lotto General Lotto she ma now nai wa ja in akan na sa ba me aku a ro break time ma ไม่มีสิ่งที่เราเราเลยนั่นเองโอเคนะโดนเนี่ยอ่ะดีๆเอาไปเอาไปเลยที่นี่ฮะเราเดี๋ยวเวลาเช้ามาสิเลยเจ